Hello, hello. Uh, I'm going to show you how to fix this Minimate box by Tilta that doesn't lock anymore. I was going to send it over to repair, but um, the labor is actually $50 an hour. I'm sure they won't take like half an hour, so it would cost $25 or, or $30 to fix it or something like that. So, I mean, brand new is $79, so I decided to try to fix it myself. And I went and go ahead and open it. So for this task, you're gonna need uh, two screwdrivers, the flat ones and the Phillips one. So first thing, we're gonna remove all the screws on the top of the main box with the Phillips screwdriver. These are tiny little screws, so make sure you put them in, this, in a safe place so that way they don't fall. And once you open, this part came with two springs in there that will hold this plate to hold back when not in use. Unfortunately, I lost it. So you have to be very careful. This is one of them I found. It. Especially when you have a carpet like this, you don't want to lose it because it's hard to find it. Luckily, I found it with the magnet, but uh, learn how to dare set up before you take it off and then you probably will be able to put it back the way it is. The main function of the springs is actually to bring back the plate to place where not in use. So once we open it up, I mean, the trick here is actually to unscrew the screw is attached to the lock because there's not really much space. So what we got to do is just pull it out by unscrew it and you're going to screw it uh, uh, as far as you feel the resistance when you feel like it's already like lock there pretty much. And then when you feel that, there's no more room to do it. I mean, don't go all the way to be honest. I didn't go all the way then because I didn't know what's going to happen, but um. But uh, you just leave it like that. Don't leave it like halfway done because otherwise you're gonna have to go up and do it again. So now as you can tell, it's pretty much even. Then if I close it, you're gonna tell now there's space now. That will hold better the main box against the ring of the lens. As I mentioned before, just be careful with all these components, the screws and also the springs. I lost it, unfortunately, I lost it like three times and I was able to find it with the magnet, but just learn how to, they're, they're actually set and then try to put it back the way it is. So let's go ahead and put the screws back and we're gonna try to attach it to the lens, to the ring of the lens and see how much it holds or that's locked the way it's supposed to be. And as you can tell right here, if you don't have the springs, it won't bring it back. So that's what the springs are for. Okay, so let's put it now on the ring. And let me let's make sure it's locked. And I'm gonna try to pull a little bit to see if, if it is secure. And as you can tell right away, it is. And I'm gonna even pull even harder, and it is. So it's now super tight than before. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to support my channel. Put a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.